It's a quiet corner in America's most densely populated state. But it wasn't always like this in Phillipsburg, New Jersey. There was a time when the rails were humming, and Phillipsburg Union Station was at the center of it all. It was a facility where you could go anywhere in the United States. You could come here, you could buy a ticket, and you could travel anywhere in the United States by connections with other railroads. Ken Miller is vice president of Friends of the New Jersey Transportation Heritage Center. His wife, Ann, is president, and together they're spearheading the ongoing effort to restore this century-old station. Uh, Friends purchased it in 2004. Um, we decided to try and take it back to what it looked like in its heyday. Right now we are somewhere around $500,000. You've spent $500,000? Yes. Where does that it, money come from? It has come from the county open space um, funds. It's been expensive overcoming decades of neglect and decline. Passenger service ended here in the 1980s and the station was later converted into a pharmacy. Ken and Ann have spent years uncovering some hidden gems here. Uh, the pharmacist told us that he had put um, asphalt tiles in here, mm -hmm. and he put it down with a black mastic that was just, Ann spent, I, I bet Ann put in a thousand hours trying to, just to get scrub rid it off. of this. But they have no doubt that it's all worth it. What kind of got you excited about doing this then? Because when I was growing up, I used rail. There was a... She, she got back and forth <clears throat> to college um, using the railroads. Mm -hmm. So there's a sentimental attachment. Oh, oh. Yeah. When, there are not many examples of a two-level brick union station. And I say union because it served two railroads. And here's where a little bit of irony comes into play because as they strive to protect our railroad past, there's also a sense that perhaps this railroad past could open the door to the future that this town needs. Our roads are so crowded today <laughs> that we need some form of mass transit, and it has to be fairly quick. When you see a train go through town now, what goes through your mind? Uh, I, hope it, I hope now a lot of people are wanting it to be passenger, because people come back and, and say, we would like to be on this thing, but being passengers. I said, well, you're going to have to scream an awful lot to do get that done. <laughs> so in the meantime, this retired couple will labor on, dusting off the old model that helped to convince New Jersey lawmakers way back when to preserve our transportation heritage and looking for new signs of life along those rusting old ribbons of steel. For NJTV News, I'm Mike Schneider.